What's up guys, Connor with Guns and Stuff here, and today I have excess big dot sights. I'm going to talk about them, share some of my experiences with you guys, and just go over some, some major points. So excess sights, they're handgun sights for uh, pretty much personal protection. I think these sights fit uh, like a concealed carry gun, perfect. They're just for close up quick shooting. So as you can see in the video I'm going to show you here, there's an eye rear sight and then there's a pretty much a big golf ball on the front sight. And all you're doing is you're dotting the eye or you're putting the golf ball on the tee, which I think that's what it looks more like. And literally when you look down these sights, it looks like a big golf ball on a tee. So as you guys can see, these are not like traditional handgun sights. Like I said before, you got the golf ball and the tee on the back. These ones are night sights, so there's a tritium vial, which is uh, Trigicon actually, so it's pretty much Trigicon Tritium. One thing that you can notice here is that the, the front sight is, is rounded off so it's not going to snag on anything. So in and out of the holster, no problem there at all. Also these are made in Texas, which they're American made, which is awesome. I should have added that earlier. So according to XS, their website, which what I have found using this, it's a little bit different, but what their website says is 0 to 15 yards, you so put the golf ball on the tee, you use the center of the big dot for your point of aim, point of impact. Anything farther than 25 yards, you use the top of the dot. And as you guys will see in a little bit, that doesn't really work for me in these sites. My point of aim, point of impact is always kind of different. Uh, we'll talk about that. All right, so what I'm gonna do for you guys is, as I said before, these sites, uh, they're not really as precise as a, as a target site. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a 12 shot group here on a two inch square. I'm at about 21-ish yards, or 21 feet. Um, so let's do it. I'm shaking today, man. Alright, so as you guys can see, my hold was here and I was hitting high. And as I said before, what excess sites, what their website tells you is if you put the big dot on top of the eye closer than to, uh, like 15 yards or so, you wanna, your point of aim, point of impact is gonna be in the middle. And that's exactly where I was holding and I was hitting high. This is just my personal experience with it. What I usually have to do and I found this out at the range, what I have to do is almost put the tritium insert, almost, okay, so pretty much treat the tritium insert as the golf ball. So I put the, the darker part, which is the tritium, on top of the eye, and I always hit lower. So with what the website tells me, I'm putting the golf ball right on the top of the, um, of the tee here, and I'm hitting high. With the right point of aim, my point of impact is high. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use the hold that I found works best for this gun and pretty much what I'm going to do, or these sights I should say. So I'm only going to use the, the, top, the tritium and put that on top of the eye instead of the whole golf ball. I have found that I hit better. It's not quite as high. So the website tells you to use the, the actual golf ball, whereas I'm just going to use the tritium circle. So let's see. Uh Alright, so let's go up here check that out. I don't know why I'm so shaky today, man. Alright, so with the hold that I found works for me, remember, with the traditional hold that excess sight said I was all up here. Now, when I pretty much put the tritium on top of the tritium and ignored the white golf ball, I hit a little bit lower as you can see. So you have a fixed front sight, 
and an adjustable rear sight. There's a tool that comes with this. You just unscrew the little Allens and adjust it how you need to. But the front sight is fixed, so there is no adjusting there. So I think these sights are excellent for a CCW gun or uh, maybe depending on where you live and what kind of house you live in, it could be a good home defense sight. And why I think that is because the front sight here is really big. So I kind of think about it as like a precision rifle. Say you have a rifle with a scope on it and the, the reticle takes up a ton of your target. Your hold is not going to be very consistent every time. Same thing translates over to a handgun like this. So that front sight is very big. So it covers up a lot of the target. These sights are excellent for quick point, uh, point shooting, fast shooting. And again, I think a CCW gun, these are perfect because I don't know where you guys live, but where I live, I'm never really out in an open, open area. So if anything were to happen, it would be up close and personal. And in that situation, you just gun out of the holster, put that big dot on the sights. You don't even need to really use the rear sight, which is what I found out today. We were just doing some point shooting. You just put your front sight, that big front sight on your target and pull the trigger. And probably 90% of the time I was getting hits. So um, I think for like this gun, a Glock 26 or, you know, uh, a carry gun, a single stack gun or a small double stack subcompact gun, I think these sights make a great companion for something like that. Now, Aaron has a Glock 17, and these sights on a gun like that just don't really make much sense to me because that's more of a duty gun. You're looking for a little bit more accuracy, a little bit more, a little bit more. I don't want to say precision, but something like that. And you have that longer sight radius. So, just for me on a gun like that, like a Glock 17, or like a, for example, like a CZ or something, or a, a full size, like a Glock 34. I just don't think that makes much sense because these sights are not made for precision. These are made for speed, up close and personal. If you need to get your gun out, just throw that white dot on the target and you'll make your hit. One thing that I thought was kind of funky about these sights is, I remember one day at the range, someone brought these in and I, he was like, yeah, come shoot my big dot sights. I'd never seen them before that. And I did not like them at all. Like I'm. I don't want to say I'm not a fan of these sights because I am. They work and they work well and they're simple, but it's just not, I'm so used to my traditional three dot sights. So he took me in the range and I started shooting this thing and I just didn't like it. But the more I use it, the more I understand what these are used for, I'm going to keep these on my Glock. And these are, these have the tritium vial and stuff. So I've wanted night sights on my Glock for a while. Now I have them for this gun. They're going to stay on this. I don't think I would put these sights on anything much bigger than this just because like I said this is a these are quick sights up close and personal stuff like that so they're definitely not target sights they're up close and personal fast sights and I think these work the best on a CCW gun or personal protection gun